don't forget to like subscribe and share and bring your friends oh i forgot if it's a new time here welcome back to my youtube channel hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> my friend is here <laughs> she's, she's speaking at me um today's video is going to be a bit different it is the first time i'm doing like a makeup a makeup thingy on youtube so if you'd like to see how i came about this look it's like an everyday natural look i'm not even a makeup artist i don't know what i'm doing but if you like to see how i got this look please keep on watching and don't forget to like subscribe and share and bring your friends oh i forgot if it's a new time here welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Inkham. i'm a nurse and a youtuber that is based in england and welcome to my channel if you're not new hey baby i told you guys that my babies now um yeah let's get into it okay so we're start starting off with the uh, moisturizer um i think it's the rimel moisturizing primer yes moisturizing primer that i use and i'm just rubbing it you know massaging it all over my face um you people know that i've not done this type of video before so bear with me and after that i use the mac and prep and prime on my face let it dry and then i started working on my brows I'm using this polio to basically comb up my brow and I'm going to use this eye pencil. I got this eye pencil from I think pound lounge. It's just one pound. Um so sharpen it and I'm going to use it to draw out my brow. This is how I usually do my brow all the time. Like my brow is not like serious brow, but yeah. Um, I carve my brow myself. I always carve my brow, except when I'm in Enugu. Then I'll go to my friend's place. Um, she's a makeup artist, and she's literally like the best makeup artist in Enugu. So, yeah. So this is me filling up my brow. So I would usually, I'm saying so a lot, and I don't know why. I would usually trace the under brow first, and then trace um, the upper one, and then you know f basically fill it in. That's what I'm doing here, okay? So, fill it in, brush it up, and I would, and I would clean out my brows with a concealer. Okay, so I'm brushing it up with a spoolie before I just to make sure that you know they're in place before I start cleaning. Uh, for the concealer, I'm using I think I'm using um, the Zaron concealer mixed with my foundation. My foundation is Estee Lauder. <clears throat> I hope I pronounced that correctly. So I use the Zaron concealer, the lighter shade at the outer corner to so just to highlight that uh, you know that place and then I'm using my foundation at the, the beginning part of the brow, you know, so it's easier to blend and it looks seamless. So I'm using my beauty blender to blend the concealer out, and I'm basically going to do the same thing for the other brows, okay. Here I am cleaning out the brow. I'm cleaning out the eyebrow with my concealer. So for under the how do I used to say how do they used to say it? So for the for beneath my brow, I use a concealer mixed with my foundation. But for my brows, the upper part of my brows, I use just my foundation. Do you get? Does that make sense? Okay, so beauty blender, dab 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 and i'm going to go over to the next eye and i'm going to essentially do the same thing okay sometimes you struggle to do these things to make sure that they are equal but they can never be equal <laughs> that's the real struggle okay so cleaning out this other brow making sure it's good and then i'm going to blend it with the beauty blender beauty blender beauty blender <laughs> my tongue feels funny 
okay so after that i'm going in with my foundation um i'm going to leave all the products that i used um in the description box i know i say that a lot i'm going to actually remember to do that and i'll leave all the details of the product i used i'm going in with my foundation and i am you know basically taking very tiny amounts of foundation and dabbing it into my skin and <laughs> after that i'm going to set um my under brow with a setting powder and i'm going to blush bloody hell i'm going to brush it off <laughs> i'm going in with a tara eyeshadow primer and i'm applying it um on the lid of my eye both eyes and i'm going in with my foundation so i'm basically applying the crease no i'm applying the the color for the eyelid first and then i'll apply a darker shade of color on the outer corner of my eye before i blend it together and then i apply a crease and blend it all in does that make sense this is how i know how to do it i can definitely try different um application techniques so first i will dab it in first before i start you know blending it and i'm basically touching in on the color and you know using that to blend it all out as much as i can to get that do you know what i mean <laughs> see my critical accent is, is improving by the day anyway i'm blending 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 as much as i can and i'm going to try and recreate the same thing on the other eye as much as i can you know i tell the people i'm not a makeup artist and you can actually tell that i'm not a makeup artist but you know i try to do like a decent 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 looking makeup you know just so it looks nice i'm doing the same thing i did on the other eye on this eye i'm dabbing in the eyelid color i'm putting in the outer the color for the outer corner of my eyes and i'm putting in a crease color I'm I'm also dipping in the brush into the palette to get a bit of product before blending, you know, that's it. Okay? Okay. If you don't get it, you forget about it. <laughs> okay, so I'm blending, blending, blending as much as I can. If I feel like I don't have enough product, I'll add some more. So I'm going in with an eyeliner. I'm using the In Style um gel liner and i'm trying to wing it if my hands will let me i actually did a decent type of wing here to be very honest to be very fair i did it wasn't that bad it was it was okay it was manageable my eyes are sensitive so i struggle with these bits a lot and at this point my eyes have already started watering so yeah see it's not that bad and then i apply the liner um underneath my eye my waterline or in my water lines um i apply the same thing in my waterline and then i go over to the sea the, to the next eye and i apply see i just woke up from sleep and i have to do this voiceover before this video is, is, is up so bear with me i'm half awake and half asleep at this time anyway this is me trying to oh closer look this is me trying to you know perfect my my brow make it look good and now i'm highlighting this is such a weird this is how i do this but like i won't even like i know people usually do this highlighting and contour before before doing anything else but yeah Maybe I should try that technique and see if that goes well with me. But this is, to be very honest, this is how I do my makeup for the most times. It's not ideal, but this is what I've been doing and this has worked for me, okay? So, I'm very open to trying other techniques. So, I'm blending out this concealer. I'm not blending it out, um, like, too, too perfectly. <clears throat> but i just need to blend out the the edges and i'm okay with it because you know it's still supposed to conceal it's supposed to give what it's given so and i carefully you know make sure that i blend it as much as i can and then do the same thing for the other eye and i'm putting 
a certain powder underneath it okay now i'm not so comfortable with baking not that i'm not comfortable i am what's the word confident with baking because sometimes it just i don't know it doesn't really turn out well so i don't really bake for a long time um yeah but i let it just bake for like a few seconds and i brush it off because i don't want it leaving like a white patch and if i feel like i've taken off all the products i can simply just dab my brush in more powder and i you know apply it okay now see mac prep and prime it's always like a constant i'm always putting prep and prime <coughs> excuse me i'm always spraying prep and prime made you know application of products and all of that so that it does the work i'm contouring 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 if the men find out we can shape shift they are going to tell the church <laughs> i wish i can shape shift perfectly but yeah you got one back you don't know if you can voice over and you are in my voiceover oh, I'm sorry. that's fine so contouring contouring we're putting on some contour and blending it all out as much as i can just to make sure i don't look like a masquerade but yeah blend 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 and then a bit of highlight powder again just to define my nose and i'll take that all off and then i'll apply my powder okay so i am um using the powder con powdered contour darker shade to basically set the contour that i just did more setting powder just for more definition But no, I don't have a straight hand, so I'm trying my best. Okay, so I'm basically just brushing it all off. Don't worry, don't worry. All the patches will be gone <coughs> before you know it. Um, some blush, just a tiny bit amount of blush for my face. And now comes the powder so i use my powder to basically just blend in the whole thing per se that's what powder does for me or at least that's how i apply it it blends of the whole thing the parts that look like they're all out in your face the powder blends all that for me i'm applying my mascara i'm using an iconic mascara my friend gifted me this mascara and gifted me this iconic mascara for my lashes when i use it for my natural lashes they actually look quite good and here we are highlighting i've had this highlight palette for the longest time and i'm addicted to it i haven't really bought another one i think i should get another one and see just highlighting the bridge of my nose and my forehead just a bit and i'm going to put my falsies on now this is the actual troll for me i'm not so good at it but we'll get there <clears throat> it's quite the struggle at first but i think i was able to get it done um applying forces has got to be an art yeah i got it i got it on looks good by the way i'm basically going to um try and readjust it and make sure that it fits in properly and then i'm going to come back and press it in okay i'll show you guys when it's time to press it in i put it in the second lash in and yeah that was a bit of a struggle but you know just so you guys can see it up close Oof. yeah okay see i managed to get that on and then i can use my hand to reposition it as much as i can you can tell that this is actually a struggle for me i think putting your lashes with your hands are like the best thing because it works better than when i use when i use, try to use a, a tweezer but yeah add some more mascara <clears throat> just to blend my natural lashes with this one and then it's lip time um i don't know this 
clip liner that i'm using but i think i bought it from superdrug i'll put i'll link the name down down below so first line my lips and then put some uh this is a maybelline maybelline uh lipstick that i got this is what it looks like and i'm going to apply that to give me that bronzed um nude like type of you know lips remember this entire look is supposed to be like a soft glam kind of look yeah so this is me pressing it in i've put i sprayed some mac prep and prime on tip of, on the tip, tips of my hands and i'm just pressing that in <coughs> my friend is a makeup artist sweet tamara she actually taught me this technique so this is what the final look is like i look so good i don't care what you say i know this makeup is not perfect but girl you look good <coughs> yeah this is you know the full look and i hope you like this video <laughs> please give it a thumbs up and tell me what you think i'm actually going to try and do more makeup videos i'm going to try different techniques that i've seen some youtubers do and all of that so thank you for watching this video i hope you love it please like share subscribe give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see next please bring you people should you people should push me propel me into you know stuff okay i'll see you in my next one bye